now that we have all the elements we uh, we simulated everything so now that we need to render this out so I have four containers here uh, represent each of these I color them red and call it RNDR for each thing I want to render so for the render monster I just for each one I just use object merge and bring them into the geometry folder here same thing as the ground then the sand as well it takes a little time and uh, the smoke okay uh, you can ignore this I don't need this actually so yeah and uh, and for each everything here uh, let's turn the view flag on and uh, for everything here you you need to go to the render tab under the sampling here turn on the velocity blur so the comma will find the V attribute and render the motion blur from them okay and now let's go to the comma and render this out so go to stage create a lob network and dive inside so uh, use a scene import here and it's great scene import so if you want to bring your object here because so slash go to object and because we name it rndr for our rendering object so just type rndr and just go find your thing you want to render so here I'm using the monster and sand smoke that's all thing we want to render I end up not rendering the ground so I disable all this stuff yes and for each each object we need a material for this so just create a material library and name it according to the scene import here so monster monster mat material sand sand mats smoke smoke mat and make sure you turn on the assign to geometry here and the geometry we want uh, assign is the if you create a material here connect assign to geometry if you slash you can see render monster here that's the one here okay we can assign the material to the monster here so the monster here is pretty simple just go to the texture here use texture we already have our diffuse texture download from the website just check that and the monster are set and for the stand here I think I already talked about this just create a principal shader here make sure you name your principal shader to send mat and the bias here just create a uh, bind and then type bias here we already uh, if I remember correctly we have our bias export here for different colors okay so you can see we have our bias they have black and white value here so let's go back to stage so yeah we have our input our bias here create a color max node so you can pick your color so I create like two similar color but kind of have some variations on the color so plug the bias into the bias here and plus the color mix to the base color and uh, that's what I do for the sand material and I turn off the reflectivity for the sand and yeah that's it for our sand material and for the smoke material it's pretty basic I just use a pyro shader and the smoke color is gonna be kind of similar to the sand and turn down the density a little bit change the smoke brightness and uh, play around with scattering phase here and shadow density 
I think that's all I do for my smoke shader. Now we create a merge node, merge all the scene we have. And let's ignore this first. Uh, then we have our camera. Uh, sorry, it's lagging. So now you find your favorite angle here. And uh, let's disable this. So find your angle here. Let's control click on the camera so that it's aligned to the view and create dome light here select texture here you can go to the houdini picture hdri select the hdr you like and play around with the intensity a little bit and create a comma render properties uh, set the camera to camera one and your cpu engine and the resolution here you can also set in the comma here uh, make sure you set the render frame range and make sure your camera is set and uh, in under the rendering camera effects make sure the motion blur is turned on and make sure if you have a lot lot of noise on the image make sure you turn on the denoiser here and uh, yeah I think it's all for the rendering and uh, now let's render this out it's gonna take some time so i just uh switch the houdini gl to comma here and you can see this is the rendering without the comma fork box so if we enable the fork box here uh, i will pause the video and uh, turn that on and render this out so Let's turn on this and I will switch to the camera so I will pause the video here. Now you can see uh, we have we have more fog here so it's basically a vol volumetric box so you can change the density here uh, you can change the color, the shadow density, everything. If we turn on the density, you will see uh, now it's all black, so you can decrease it. So now you can see the volume metric scene here. Okay. So yeah, I think that's all for the rendering. So yeah, that's end of our rendering part. So yeah, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.